Hey, I for one welcome our new AI <laughs> Xbat overlords. Shield AI unveils the Xbat autonomous vertical takeoff. I use the term loosely, fighter jet. Dude, yeah. It's VTOL, which you know how we feel about that. The Marines are like salivating right now. It's an artificial intelligence driven, uncrewed fighter capable of vertical takeoffs and landings, could represent the next generation of military combat aircraft, dubbed the X Bat, which is designed for expeditionary and maritime operations in contested environment. That sounds a whole lot like the Marines. Yep. <clears throat> it uses hive mind software as its autonomous core the company said wednesday release uh air power without runways is the holy grail of deterrence it gives our forces persistence reach and survivability it buys diplomacy another day says brandon singh the co-founder and president with hive mind as it sprains essentially expat will be able to penetrate contested airspace team up with manned aircraft carry out collaborative tactics without needing constant communications and it would be a drone wingman which is part of the collaborative combat aircraft. They've already used Hive Mind to control the X-62 Vista, the abomination that is the F-16 with uh, AI in it. Frank Kendall flew in the back, even though there was a pilot up front right. back in May of 2024. It has a range of 2,000 nautical miles while fully armed. It can go from strip sh ships, islands, austere sites that don't have prepared runways, counter air, intelligence, electronic warfare, surveillance, reconnaissance missions. It's revolutionary and it solves the survivability on the ground and dependency on tankers. Even though nobody kicks ass without tanker gas, this thing does, according to them. Xbat's ability to autonomously operate standalone or collaboratively allows it to project power when there's no <clears throat> other assets to simplify the kill chain. It would be much cheaper than fifth gen. Fifth gen. And, um, yeah, it's they're trying to make this thing a reality. It's compact. They could put three in the footprint of a legacy fighter. So this gawky answers the question that every time we've talked about the CCI, I've always asked what happens to it after we fire and forget it, right? Where does it come from? Where does it go? Where does it come from? Expat Joe. <laughs> but this this answers that question because it's VTOL, so it can go wherever. Right. It can go in your right. backyard. What do you think, man? Are the machines here to take us over? Um, uh, apparently, it's only four G limited, so I don't think it's a fighter. How's it mind. gonna do? How's it gonna do its G warm? That is the G warm. Four G's was <laughs> the, your G awareness. Beyond four G's, it is maxed out. I think it's. Well, hold on now. When bombs, you're only at like four and a half G's. So a fighter is the same way. Depends on five the and a half. Five and no. a half. Five and a half. Yeah, Mark 82s was five and a half. No, it was more than that, wasn't it? Mm -mm. Big bombs were five and a half. Wasn't safe escape five Gs, four, right? Four, four Gs? Five Gs in two seconds. <clears throat> you only have a half. That's why you don't over G your bombs safe escape. The idea is you safe escape with the bombs, yeah. not on the aircraft, but you had five and a half G, six and a half G, 7.33 is a Viper numbers. I'd have to. We, dude, that was all on my card. <laughs> I well, also, that all your jet had your G limits, like it yeah. knew. My jet did not. I had to honor the G limits. So five and a half, six and a half, and seven point three three, I had to know because the Viper will not. Hmm. It won't won't limit for the stores. Yours would, right? The Hornet, Super Hornet. They all knew it was on the airplane and would limit itself. It won't limit. No, it won't limit the G on based the on the, the stores. No. It only limits the, okay. the G's and the roll rate based on if the weights, the, the, the up locks are locked. And then, yeah. uh, yeah, the weight, the fuel, the weight. Yeah. Um, I would say we could ask skid, but I don't think the A-10 <laughs> would pull that many anyway. Uh, I think <laughs> it's cool. I'd use fighter loosely. I mean, dude, uh, we talked about it quite a bit and it's, it's like, like a strike like, Eagle. With, with less people, with less passengers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dividing by zero. Because zero, right, zero yes. out of two. So. Uh, you know, it would be pretty wild. Like every small boy, like Navy ship, even the Gettysburg, have a couple of these bad boys on it. Like just autonomous fighters, right? You just push it out the hangar, like launch, go, defend me, save me, whatever. I don't know if the hog was 733 look at that well no because bombs uh, skid what was the bomb limit for the bomb limit yeah bomb limits different that's a target 733 is a target i want to say it was six g's dude for whatever yeah, reason six half. g's sticks in my head 5.5 5. i'm i'm pretty sure it's five and a half six and a half till tanks dry 7.33 for the targeting pod some viper dude is gonna know 
and they're either going to tell me I'm wrong or they're going to hire me to fly again because I still remember stuff. <laughs> Where's Wags? Wags would know. Yeah. I want to say in the horn of six. I thought it was six G. Anyways, I do the autonomous AI thing is coming, right? I think it's pretty crazy that this thing, at least they're touting it. It can like just take off by itself, join up with man fighters, integrate without much meddling. And yeah, four G two seconds. And then, uh, you know, do its own thing, basically. I mean, that's yeah. it's the ultimate force multiplier, right? And if it's uh, if it's a sketchy picture up ahead, you commit them and then you turn around and let the picture settle. <laughs> I, I just the autonomous part, like you're taking taking the skin out of the game when you start sending stuff on top. Now, granted, a missile is basically aut autonomous, right? It's a it's an autonomous suicide drone. Because all you're doing is saying, kill that guy and let me know how it goes. So I just like taking the man machine out of and, and that interface out of the loop and saying, go do this mission. Because what happens when EMP hacking, somebody figures out how to turn it against you? I've watched enough movies, Gonky. I know what happens when Skynet becomes self-aware. <laughs> I, I know. I, I'm look, listen, I'm in the same boat as you. I just uh I think the technology is cool. I I'm just a little bit skeptical of real real world application simply because, like you're alluding to, we develop a technology, the opponent develops the technology to counter, right? It's this develop and counter thing. And I just wonder if true autonomous, like unmanned things are gonna work. I mean, they probably will in peacetime. I just wonder if in actual combat. Yeah. I mean, as the collaborative combat aircraft, you know, that's cool. I mean, the VTOL thing, yeah, I get that. You want you because that is the problem in the Pacific, right? About, you know, airfields, uh, not having not having prepared fields to work off of, having to work off of ships and stuff like that. Obviously, that's a big thing. That's why the Marines wanted the F-35 and stuff. If it's able to saturate air defenses, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, I just, it depends on the level of autonomy that this is going to happen. Yeah. Probably puts the F-35B out of business, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think they put, it puts itself out it of puts business. puts itself out of business from the yeah. start. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's a lot of good claims here, man. But I mean, has, I wonder if any of this stuff has been I wonder if they've done any testing, real world testing with it. I mean, you know, the hive mind stuff they've tested that in the F-16 seems to work somewhat reasonable, but I mean, applying that to a, a drone as, I mean, that's kind of the next step. Yeah. But I don't like, know. Yeah. I, it's scary, man. I, uh, I'm with you. I, there's something weird about war without people. Cause then I, I just think it, I think people could get pretty bold with that and, uh, even worse things could happen. You know, like well, you said, not skin. us, our adversary. Right. I mean, right. if we're limited right. by, you know, if we're the ones that are OK with doing the right thing, that doesn't mean our adversary isn't going to remove the right. restrictions off of the AI. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. I know. Yeah. Um, anyway, 